Welcome to Quiltology, brought to you by Fabric Editions to help you learn basic quilting concepts that will jumpstart your quilting experience. Today's lesson shows a unique quick binding technique. In this video, you will learn how to make a mop or self binding by folding extra fabric from the back over to the front in one step. This quick and easy method of binding is a good option for smaller projects such as the Oasis Table Runner, placemats, art quilts, or mug rugs. The backing fabric will need to be one and a half inches larger than the top all the way around and becomes the binding when the quilt is completed. Traditional quilt binding is a separate step made from a two and a half inch strip of fabric, folded in half and sewn to the edges of the quilt. It is then turned to the back and finished with a hand stitching. Our sample for the quick binding technique today is a beautiful table runner quilt from the Quiltology program. It is made with two sizes of flying geese blocks that are pieced together using quick piecing techniques. Let's walk through the steps to make this easy binding using the Oasis table runner. If you plan to mark the quilting lines on the table runner, you will want to do this first. I chose to mark my lines with a masking tape. Next, center the table runner on top of the batting and baste using safety pins or a basting spray. Use the longest stitch length on your machine to machine baste the outside edges together an eighth of an inch from the edge. Carefully trim the batting to the same size as the table runner. Press the backing smooth and flat. Lay the wrong side up on the flat surface and secure the edges with masking tape. Center the table runner top and batting on the backing, making sure to leave at least one and a half inches around all sides. Smooth the layers to prevent wrinkles and puckers. Hold the layers together with safety pins or basting spray. Remove the masking tape that was securing the backing down. Start in the middle and quilt along the marked lines. Use a walking foot so all layers feed evenly. After quilting, trim the backing one inch larger than the table runner. I've switched to a smaller piece to demonstrate the self-binding technique. Fold the corner of the backing over the front, leaving a little space, approximately an eighth of an inch. Repeat the fold on the front corners and then press. Repeat for all four corners. Tuck the point under the front of each corner. Fold the one inch backing in half along the edges. The raw edge should be next to the edge of the table runner top. Fold the backing once more over the front and form a miter at the corners. Press in place. Pin in place or baste by hand with long stitches and remove them after you do your permanent stitching. Sew by hand or machine to the front of the table runner. Keep this quick method of binding in mind as an alternative for some of your upcoming projects. 